Hi, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a tutorial inspired by Korean beauty and Korean beauty trends. Because I don't know if you know, but most of the big beauty trends in the last few years have come out of Korea. If you think of BB creams and a lot of the new technology and makeup styles are very much inspired by Korean makeup, Korean skincare, Korean technology. So, um, and I'm really into it, so I thought it'd be quite nice to do a look using all Korean makeup and just talking about the kind of trends and things there. I was lucky enough to visit Korea before Christmas and spent the whole time just shopping and looking at beauty products and talking to Korean girls and just really getting a feel for it. So it was great because um, also my Instagram followers, I kept posting pictures of shops that I was in and just want to say if you were one of them that commented and kind of told me what to get, like what to look out for, then that was all really, really helpful because um, I bought everything that you suggested and consequently I had to buy a new suitcase huge one to just leave the country because I had that much makeup. So starting with skin and how your skin looks is very, very important in Korea. There's a lot of amazing skincare and obviously incredible products for perfecting the skin, but also giving it this look which the Koreans describe as guang, which is glowing. They love this dewy glowing look. Last year, there was something called Chok Wan, which was very, very shiny skin the last few years. And now it's more of a Sok Wan look, which is more of an inner glow, more of a sort of radiant look. But it's definitely not about matte skin in Korea. It's about a radiant, dewy glow. So products like BBs obviously are huge. And lots of them come in cushion formats which are compacts that enable you to carry around liquids so foundations and bbs and, and, all, and cc's and all of that but in a, in a compact foundation a compact format which is just great i'm going to use this one by laneige which is a bb and um by cushion it just means that there's an actual cushion which the liquid comes through so you dab into the cushion and they come usually with sponges, you could use fingers, and then just smooth your BB or your foundation on. And you can see that they're kind of just really, really light, but very, very perfecting to the skin kind of instantly. And you do have this sort of radiant finish. You can also get UV um, bases which come in cushion format as well. I've kind of bought so many of them. I've I've got one for one for every occasion now, and it's also about kind of quick. So lots of them do have this sort of multi-function element, which is very popular in Korea. So on to concealers, and I bought some concealers and lots of products in this new shop called Moonshot, and um, everything in the shop I loved bought tons and tons and tons and I really liked the um, concealers there quite full coverage you didn't need too much but really good if you're kind of going for that very natural guan look on the rest of your skin and you're just using a BB then quite good to have a concealer that does have some concealing power to cover any pigmentation or spots or anything um, but it's also very very again quite moisturizing and um, I found like all the products had that kind of really nice kind of creamy moisturizing sort of quality. So next I'm going to use some highlighter and this one is a liquid one by Vanilla which is another beauty company. There was one of the things I really liked about Korea was how it's more the Korean brands that are really really popular whether you're in a department store or you're in standalone stores. Whereas I guess in other parts of the world, you have kind of beauty companies from from all over, global. Um, there is really a strong tradition of very, very good Korean brands. So you'd see kind of, and they all have standalone stores as well. So um, you kind of see them on one street and then you go to the next street and it's the same shop again. So like, they're really, really prolific. They all have these huge standalone stores and they're all 100% Korean owned which is um is really quite different from anywhere else 
So I'm just going to add this to the top of my cheekbones, um, just to emphasize again the guan, um, and to keep that really kind of dewy, fresh thing going. So on to eye makeup, and mainly Korean girls don't do really bright colors on their eyes. I saw lots and lots of kind of soft, beigey colors, quite light, shimmery colors, also saw some matte colors, but very, again, quite light colors. Um, so it's not really about that heavy kind of smoky look or, or anything like that. I'm going to use one of these jelly pots, which I got from uh, Moonshot again, which was kind of a favorite shop. Um, this is blue. Blue was not a big color in Korea, but I just think this color is so pretty. And I'm just gonna apply it really, really lightly so that I get that kind of light shimmery effect that lots of the girls kind of had. So I'm really just gonna use it almost like a base. I love this technology, it really sets the lids. I bought that particular product in lots of different colors and I put them all in my kit and they are great. And then I have to stop now because that is totally solid. You can see that it sets and it really doesn't move this stuff which is why it's so great in my kit and I love the the packaging they come in these really nice little cardboard boxes so on to lashes and liner now the style there is quite different really to maybe Japan or um, other Asian countries I've been to in that they don't really do as much eyelash curling a lot of the girls that I spoke to that worked in the shops didn't actually curl their eyelashes so they kind of leave them straight I am going to curl my eyelashes just because that's kind of what I do. But um, there was definitely more of a sort of, um, it wasn't a hugely lashy look like maybe you see more of in Japan. Um, there were, was, however, lots of lining on the eyes. I'm going to use a vanilla gel liner and this is a cushion. So again, it's um, got that cushion packaging. I'm going to get the right brush and just dip into the cushion and get the gel out. I'm using a brown. Um, and there just wasn't a lot of kind of really heavy liner. There was a lot more tight lining and lining along the upper water line than there was anything else. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go along the top lashes. A lot of it also is inspired by the K-dramas, which are the kind of TV shows they have there, which come in their series. They're usually about 10 episodes long. They never do a second series, which I found really unusual, very different to kind of Western, but, um, and some of them are just so popular throughout Asia. And um, the makeup that's used in the show can become, you know, it has become huge trends. There was one not that long ago called The Man from the Stars, um, or, some, or My Love from the Stars. And um, the actress, Gianna Jun in that, um, the makeup that she wore, um, it was actually a YSL lipstick, it sold millions and millions. They're very, very, very inspired by the girls and the actresses that are in the K-dramas. So definitely just lining, you know, tight lining and lining along the upper waterline just gives that appearance of thicker eyelashes. And it seems that that more what the girls in Korea go for. That's what the look is. I did see girls with eyeliner as well on top, um, but it was done kind of quite thin and in quite a subtle way. It's definitely not a big eye makeup look. Um, and then obviously mascara. I'm going to use this drugstore brand, um, which is called Clio, and this is was quite a big seller in Korea. So it's another Korean brand. Um, and the brush was inspired by kind of hair brush technology. So they mainly use it on their top lashes. A lot of the girls I spoke to said that they don't really use eyeliner underneath or mascara, so quite a different kind of look really from a Western look and also from a Japanese look, which tends to be very, very lashy. Um, these mascaras are great. Oops, just whacked my... Really kind of, really nicely defining and separating. So again, it's really about just getting that kind of top lash line really full and defined. So on to brows, and all the Korean girls I saw definitely define their brows, mainly with powder, so there wasn't this kind of 
I didn't see any crazily overdrawn brows like you often see in the West. It was definitely more of a kind of filling in softly with powder and quite a straight shape. So no one was really drawing in an unnaturally high kind of arch or anything. It was more kind of straight across and soft, although definitely filled in. So onto the blush, and the Korean look is definitely not about a strong blush. It's not about bright pink cheeks. It's more about the softer, subtle peaches, apricots, and kind of very rosy but very soft tones. You can hardly see it on most girls, actually. I'm going to use this cushion blush. So it's a liquid blush, again, in a cushion. This is by Iope. Probably pronounced that really badly, um, which is one of the really great Korean brands. Um, so by using a liquid blush, obviously we get to keep our guan. Um, so we're keeping that very, very dewy, subtly glowing um, look to the skin. So just blend that onto the cheeks for that very, very, almost barely there kind of effect. Just gives a little bit of color. So before I go on to lips, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of powder, not much, because if you've got normal or dry skin in Korea, you definitely don't need any powder. If you have more of an oily skin, then the girls use a little bit, but not to destroy the guan. So um, I'm going to use Moonshot Aqua Finisher, which is a powder that has a very cooling finish. And I'm going to use it kind of just there, there and there. So I keep all my guan effect. <laughs> so if I had to sum up a Korean makeup look in two words, it would be guan, which is this amazing dewiness, the shine, and bright lips, because everyone wore bright lip color, every, every, lip colors, everyone I saw, very much inspired by the K-dramas, and um, very much applied in this sort of gradiated way, so quite strong at the center, and then gradating out, so kind of like a soft cloud of color, and often quite glossy as well. Um, I went, I found so many amazing lip products there. I bought so much stuff for my kit. Um, I loved this product from Etude House, and I love the color of this, which you'll see in a second. Very, very intense color. Um, and they had loads of great um, just color pops and it, 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 lots of kind of really nifty little um, packages and just really unusual colors, very, very bright and just quite fun. Um, and the girl that served me at Etude House, she was, um, she was like, oh, you're Lisa Weldridge, I watch your videos. That was really funny. So she kind of took me around the shop and showed me everything and I cleaned it out practically. Um, so I'm going to start with this colour, which is very, very bright. I'm going to do a look inspired by the um, Gianna Jun, but I'm not using the same colour as her. So starting in the centre, and you can see how much payoff these products give. It's insane. And I'm just going to really pat that just into the centre to start. And you can obviously use, some girls said they do use a lip pencil to kind of cheat around the edge, but they just keep it quite soft and a lighter color. And you can also use a lip pencil as well if you want. Um, so that kind of gives you the first sort of flush of color. Now I'm going to use this um, slightly glossy stick over the top. This is a lip plumper because there is that kind of quite juicy effect um, to lips as well. It seems to be really, really popular. So that kind of gives you that nice juiciness and then just going to go back in and just literally apply it to the center. And that just gives you that gradated effect. So that's the finished look and very much an Korean inspired makeup look. Interesting, I think, because it's just very, very different from what we are wearing in the West, maybe what you're seeing in America with the strong contouring, the very strong highlighting and the brows kind of really drawn on. Um, and also quite interesting with the bright lip. Um, but it's definitely all about this very even, 
luminous skin there and then this kind of pop of color on the lips um, and I just found it completely fascinating it's like a makeup artist or a makeup obsessive's dream um, all of the products I tried were amazing I didn't see a bad product while I was there and um, I've certainly got a much bigger kit since since visiting there and I absolutely adored it so I hope you found this interesting and I'll see you soon